Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Friday, May 17th. Quite a warm morning uh, here to begin the day in the Mid-Atlantic region. It looks like it'll be an active afternoon. We have a cold frontal system approaching the region. There is already a complex of thunderstorms out across West Virginia, uh, commonly referred to as an MCS, a mesoscale convective system. This will weaken as it pushes to the south and southeast over the next few hours, but it may play a pivotal role in the formation of some new thunderstorms later on this afternoon. Here's a look at the latest radar. First of all, upstate Pennsylvania, already some scattered showers and embedded thunderstorms here as this frontal system approaches the eastern seaboard. But notice this blob of moisture right here over West Virginia. Uh, a, a nice little line here of, of a, kind of a bow echo here forming uh, on the southern end of this MCS, mesoscale convective system. This is basically pushing to the south and the southeast. It will weaken over the next couple of hours, but what it does is kind of sets up a differential heating at the surface across Virginia uh, during the midday and, and early afternoon hours with the clouds uh, associated with this MCS and clear skies out ahead of it. Be a, kind of a differential heating pattern set up, and that could cause some more boundary zone type thunderstorms to form during the midday and afternoon hours. So in other words, it could be some strong thunderstorms basically south of the Mason-Dixon line later on this afternoon. We'll have to closely monitor that. But again, a lot of activity upstream headed towards the I-95 Carter region. This is the latest forecast map from NOAA Storm Prediction Center based out of Norman, Oklahoma. Slight risk of severe weather today across Virginia and all the way up to the D.C. metro region. Again, we saw that uh, MCS right in this region right now, and it will slowly push to the south and east over the next few hours, and it can ca cause uh, a, a differential heating pattern to set up at the surface and some boundary zone type thunderstorms later on today. Uh, there could be some thunderstorms up across uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey as well. Probably not on the severe uh, levels, however, but perhaps a couple of scattered strong thunderstorms north of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. Meanwhile, lots of activity out across the center part of the nation. We posted about that yesterday. A very active weather pattern setting up for the, the southern plains, the central plains, both a severe weather threat today and uh, it perhaps even more likely on Saturday. And then the best chance looks like it may come later Monday, Monday night, night in terms of severe weather and flooding potential as well because the grounds are saturated and they will get some heavy rainfall out in the uh, middle part of the country over the next several days. Well, let's take a look at last night's 500 millibar uh, height anomaly forecast maps from the uh, 06Z GFS. A couple things you want to really emphasize here. First of all, starting off the day here, uh, basically a neutral in the upper part of the atmosphere, but notice here in the Mid-Atlantic region over the next few days this ridging starts to intensify. And here we go by uh, Saturday afternoon, a noticeable ridge uh, in the upper part of the atmosphere over the Mid-Atlantic region. And here we go vigorous upper level feature headed towards the central plains that will contribute to a, a, a potential severe weather outbreak there on Saturday then we move into the day on Sunday Sunday morning here's pretty strong upper level ridging over the mid-Atlantic region what this tells me is Sunday has the best chance of, of seeing the warmest temperatures yet this season in the mid-Atlantic region we may uh, reach 80 degrees this afternoon perhaps 77 to 82 degrees on a Saturday afternoon in the D.C., Philly, New York City corridor, but 85 degrees is certainly on the table for Sunday with this high-level region uh, uh, set in place in the Mid-Atlantic region on uh, Sunday afternoon. And that's keep moving forward. Notice another very powerful upper-level system slamming into California by the latter part of the weekend. That Cuts across the Rocky Mountains and reaches the Central Plains here. And this looks like a potential severe weather outbreak late Monday, Monday night, perhaps even into Tuesday in much of the central part of the nation. Well, now let's walk through the surface forecast mass from the 6 e GFS model run. We're starting off dry here in the immediate I-95 Carter region, but 
there's a complex of showers and thunderstorms already set up over West Virginia. Some uh, scattered showers and embedded thunderstorms upstate Pennsylvania. And a lot of that activity will slide to the eastern uh, seaboard by late in the day. Uh, again, uh, an increasing chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. Could be strong to severe thunderstorms south of the Mason-Dixon line. A few scattered strong thunderstorms possible later today north of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. That frontal system then slides through and paves the way for a generally nice day on Saturday. There cannot be, cannot completely rule out an afternoon shower or thunderstorm or so, especially south of the Pennsylvania-Maryland border here. Uh, uh, not completely cl in the clear for later tomorrow, tomorrow night in the uh, Mid-Atlantic region. But again, generally a nice day as we begin the weekend. And then here's that area that could cause some severe weather out across the Central Plains on Saturday. And uh, here we go now, going into Sunday. Certainly uh, can be a couple of showers Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening in the Mid-Atlantic region, especially north and west of the I-95 corridor region. Another frontal system arrives on Monday, and that could also be accompanied by a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm. None of these frontal systems will uh, produce a heavy rain event in the Mid-Atlantic region, but they could produce uh, a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. We're talking this afternoon, we're talking uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and again Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and again Monday as that next frontal system uh, heads into, the, excuse me, into the eastern area. That clears out of here and it looks like Tuesday and Wednesday look like nice days in the Mid-Atlantic region. But again, another possibility of severe weather out across the Central Plains late Monday, Monday night, perhaps even into Tuesday. Uh, so an active weather pattern continues across much of the nation as we end the work week and roll into the upcoming weekend. That's it for now. For PerspectiveWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul